Things off of this socked in picture. It's really coming down. This is our Lake Tahoe sky camera on the south shorts. And also we have a live look from Placer County. If we move on to that. This is the Applegate exit right uh, on the right. Then we've got Colfax on the left. Again, low snow is the big weather headline today. We've got our photographer out there, Paul Westbrook. He is at the Applegate exit. He's not getting anywhere. You can see because they're just backed up because of that snow. And then uh, Brittany Johnson is over in Colfax. And that is actually a gas station that does not have gas currently because they can't get the pumps to work. So people are just stuck there as well. That is just crazy how much snow that we are seeing. We've also seen many close calls on TV as we've yep. been doing those live shots this morning. Good morning, I'm Leticia Ordaz. Let's send it over now to Tamara Berg. She is tracking our forecast on this weather alert day. Yeah, reason it's a weather alert day is not only because we're dealing with just some heavier rounds of rain in parts of the Central Valley, but it's the low snow that's having a big impact for folks this morning. You've heard us and maybe you're uh, not even able to watch us from your own TV because uh, you just have power that's gone out. Maybe you're watching us from your tablet and watching the live stream or your phone. Right now, heaviest rain I have for you is coming across southeastern side of San Joaquin County. Yeah, the heavy rain there, the areas of yellow and the dark and green really pushing east of downtown Stockton and really kind of east of the I-5 corridor. Closer look here, Farmington has been seeing some heavy rainfall right now. So uh, Oakdale into Modesto, it's been on the lighter intensity and then Highway 120 uh, parts of town there getting really impacted by some heavier rainfall. I brought this down also to uh, South Jacktown Road. Also seeing some of that heavier rain uh, moving down East Mariposa Road, excuse me. And then from South McKinley Avenue into French Camp, you're also in some good heavy downpours. Where it is not raining, you're likely into some snowfall. Down Interstate 80, Truckee all the way to about North Auburn and into uh, areas there of uh, Grass Valley to Forest Hill. Those spots have been really snow logged, if you will, for the morning. I cannot stress enough, if you are waking up and there is snow on the ground, ground coating the pavement, please just try to stay inside. You don't need to go out on the roadways. Please don't do it. Georgetown, Pollock Pines, steady snowfall for you folks. And then our main thresholds here from uh, Bear Valley to Arnold to Sonora. It has been all snowfall. Same story here. West Point, it's all snow. And around M Murphy's and Vallecito, snowfall coating the roads. Uh, back here to Colfax, though. And let's bring in Brittany Johnson. She's been sitting, or not sitting, I should say, standing and reporting in the snowfall <laughs> all morning long. And conditions are are not great out there. Take us to it, Brittany. They're not great. I'm taking you right to it. Look over here. We've been talking about it all morning long. People trying to make their way up this little hillside here and into the gas station. They are having problems getting through these ruts, all of that snow piling up right there. This driver, uh, he gave it two attempts, and I think he is over it and giving up and moving on. But let's see if this car can make it up here right now or this truck. Let's see, doesn't look like he's having problems so far, but he's getting stuck in those same ruts right there. We're seeing the same problem over and over. Caltrans, CHP getting stuck in that same area. People coming over here to the gas station trying to get gas, but they're finding out there is no gas here, the pumps are not working. There's no ETA on when that is going to be fixed. Um, some Placer County, some officials with Placer County just walked into the gas station and they told me they're working hard trying to clear these roads, these side roads here to get that open for people Woo! and safe to get through. Um, as soon as they come out, we're going to try to get an interview with them and talk to them and bring you some more information coming up in our next half hour. But for now, reporting live in Placer County, Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News. And out here live on along El Dorado Hills Boulevard. This is right near Latrobe Road, Highway 50. You can see here very wet roads, light traffic, but we just got reports of a vehicle that hit some standing water, went off of Latrobe Road, rolled over a couple of times, and is now down the embankment. So they are uh, bringing in a break there and a tow truck try to get that car back on the road. But again, a warning for drivers out there all across the lower elevations, high elevations. This is up in the Sierra. This is Donner Summit. You can see despite whiteout conditions, Caltrans out there still trying to clear that road against uh, unwavering snow and uh, that continues to accumulate there. Highway 49, 80, 50, 88, all shut down. No alternate routes over the Sierra right now. And it's not just the snow and the wind. It's down power lines and down trees on a lot of these highways as well that will need to be cleared before they can 
reopen in and around Grass Valley, Nevada City, getting some reports of around a foot of snow, and with that it has brought down trees and branches. San Joaquin County, Stockton, heavy band of rain moving through there, so I turned the radar on to show you where that was, and in its path I'm seeing a number of incidents starting to pop up right around the uh, I-5 area and the Crosstown Freeway. Those crashes are uh, starting to slow things down in that area, so just be careful. A lot of standing water and those issues with down power lines and trees all over the area. Not enough crews to handle all of them at once. Back to you. And Brian, thank you. The search for a missing skier will continue this morning. If the weather permits, crews are expected to gather this morning to pick up that search. The Placer County Sheriff's Office confirms to KCRA 3 that the search and rescue began looking yesterday at North Star for a skier who disappeared around 1130 in the morning. He's a 43 year old man from Truckee who works at a local ski shop and is new to the area. He's been described as an experienced skier who may have had some avalanche equipment on him after a long day searching. Crews couldn't find him yesterday. Truly a dire situation there. Obviously, power outages are part of our weather story today. We've got some new numbers in El Dorado County, 15,657 people without power. Nevada County, oh, more than 29,000. Placer County, almost 10,000. Amador County, almost 5,000. And in Calaveras County, also almost 5,000. Those are just some of the bigger numbers that we're seeing. Obviously, more power outages than that. We'll kind of keep updating those numbers throughout the morning.